What's going on you guys? My name is Julian. I am a first year medical student here at St. What's going on you guys? My name is Julian. I am a second year medical student here at St. George's University and today we're going to talk about housing in Grenada. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're returning to my channel, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I really appreciate it. So today we're going to talk about housing at St. George's University and we're going to talk about two different types of housing. One type is going to be on campus, so inside of St. George's University, and the other type is going to be off campus housing. I also want to say a big thank you to my friend Maddie for allowing me to use her place to um, record the intro and the outro to this video. Alright, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Mohi really allowed me to come into his house and show me around his place. So this is what you're going to be looking at when you come to SGU. This is the standard dorm style. It's going to be usually those of three dorms within a single dorm. So each dorm is going to have a common space. Um, we're going to start with the table. So the table is going to usually have three chairs and a refrigerator. This is actually a nicer refrigerator than what I had when I was in St. Patrick. I feel like SGU is having a huge push towards uh, wanting to remodel a lot of the dorms and at least put like new refrigerators in, so that's pretty cool. Um, moving on to the sink area, each area is going to have a sink. Um, like I said, it doesn't come with their own utensils, it doesn't come with pans, it doesn't come with um, like plates, so you're gonna have to bring all that stuff yourself. Everything, forks, spoons, knives, everything that you need to cook, you're gonna need to bring, they don't provide it. What they do provide, again, is a table, a refrigerator, a microwave, um, a small stove, uh, stove top, and you're gonna have to be constantly pressing this boost button every 10 minutes to continue that, um, that stove top to be, to be active. So that's basically about it in the common area. Um, we're gonna go ahead and check out Mohi's bedroom real quick, and then we'll go from there. So this is Mohi's dorm. This is a classic dorm style. He has a pretty nice little setup here. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of laptop stands. Just the fact that you're not gonna be bent over looking at your laptop the whole time. So those are a huge neck savers uh, for sure. Uh, every dorm is gonna have a desk chair and a twin size bed. Just keep in mind that SGU does not provide bedding, so you're gonna have to bring your own sheets, your own pillowcases, your own pillow, and you're gonna have to bring all that stuff. When I came to the island, I didn't bring any sheets, I didn't bring any pillowcases, I had to go buy all that stuff, and the place that you go to buy this stuff, they mark the price up. For example, two sheets was 50 US dollars. So keep in mind, bring your own stuff so you have to, so you save a little bit of money. Most of them come with at least two shelves, which is kind of nice. Um, I think mine only came with one shelf, but um, it really depends. Every single dorm has like a little bit different. Like some dorms will have one shelf, some will have two. I even saw somebody with like three shelves, which is kind of crazy. I only had one, so make sure um, just to like, you know, pack accordingly. Don't overpack, um, just, to, uh, just to make sure you avoid that problem. But every single dorm does have their own closet with closet space which is pretty nice, and lines that come down, so you don't have to worry about um, bringing your own like um, blinds and stuff like that, which is kind of, which is kind of cool. Um, but it's pretty standard. It's a, it's a fairly small uh, space, um, but it is livable. You are able to live in here, you're able to, um, uh, you are able to study here. Um, there's a couple lights. Um, there's not a light up here, but there are lights up in these two areas, which light up pretty good. Um, maintenance is pretty like quick on it. They do come and check out stuff when you, when you go ask them and stuff like that, which is kind of nice. Um, with that being said, the AC is always kind of turned on. Um, some people have control over their AC, but most people do not. So like 
the AC in the entire building is at a certain temperature. So, but the temperature is usually pretty, pretty fair. You know, a lot, of, I know a lot of girls um, feel like, oh man, it's too cold. And guys are like, it's actually like perfect, you know? So it really depends um, on what your body temperature normally is, um, if you're gonna be cold or not. But just keep in mind that there's a certain temperature um, that's gonna be constantly blowing throughout this uh, unit. Um, so that's basically about it. We're gonna go on to the shower area. Um, so you are gonna be living with two other people. Each person has their own um, uh, private space in their own room. Um, but like I said, they'll have to share a common area and according to that, they're gonna have to share a common shower. So there's a shower, uh, pretty standard. Every single light switch is gonna be from the outside, just to keep that in mind. So I turn the light switch on from the outside and you see the shower, nothing too crazy. Um, don't worry about that. It's usually pretty fair and the people that you live with end up being pretty cool people for the most part. And that's what I've experienced, which is actually super awesome. So that's it for the shower and then we're gonna go over to the bathroom. So the bathroom's pretty standard. Um, yeah, we have a little bit of counter space, which is actually nice. I live off campus. Uh, I don't have like any counter space at all. So I kind of miss the counter space a lot. Um, so you got a mirror, you got um, a faucet, and then you got your toilet here. And of course you have a lock for privacy. Um, again, this is gonna be one of the common areas that you're gonna have to share with your two other roommates. But like I said, people are usually respectful. I have two awesome roommates. I'm really thankful for them. Um, but that's about it. This is it for the bathroom. So we can go on to the hallway. Um, like I said, there's three bedrooms per, per unit. So they're usually divided up into A, B, and C. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. Every single dorm basically looks the same, just kind of flipped. So there's nothing you know unique to see here. There's nothing unique to see in unit C. Um, but that's pretty much all about uh, Morris Albert. But this is gonna be like your go-to unit if you do decide to live on campus for your first term or whatever term you're in at SGU. So this is gonna be the most standard um, uh, living space, if you will, for SGU. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. What's going on you guys? So we are outside of Eric Gary Hall. So these are the nicer dorms on campus at SGU. Uh, my boy uh, Shane and Sean uh, were awesome enough to allow us to tour their home. So let's go on in and go check out what we got. All right, so starting off with the appliances, we have our refrigerator right here. Uh, Eric Gary has only been built for about three to four years as of 2022. So all the appliances are fairly new. Very nice compared to other dorms on campus. Other places in Grenada give you everything you need to start living essentially. Um, like they give you at least a couple plates, a couple spoons, a couple pans, but SGU does not provide that. So you will have to bring your own utilities, um, your own uh, utensils, plates, pans, pots, all that stuff. For you guys so just keep in mind that SGU does not provide those for you um, so the, he has a really awesome setup right here um, got the French press got a couple pots a couple plates uh, a couple spoons forks all that stuff we have a small stove top and you also have the boost button within uh, Eric Gary so you have to be able to cook in 10 minute intervals so just kind of be mindful of that wherever you're cooking make sure that you press that button and um, it allows you to turn on the stove top and just be mindful that every 10 minutes you have to press that button to cook uh, got a microwave up top plenty of uh, cabinet storage um, some nice tile I really like this place I'd definitely be living on campus still if I had the opportunity, but 
it's a little bit on the most expensive side. So depends on how much you want to spend per month. And let's go ahead and check out the bathroom. So the hallway has um, entrance to three bedrooms, a shower and a bathroom. So it looks like we have a sink area here. I'm assuming this is gonna be more common. So you're gonna have to be able to share this with three other people, or excuse me, two other people. So three people total. Um, sink, this is probably where you're brushing your teeth and stuff. So we'll go on in. Everything's from the outside when it comes to the lights. So lots of counter space when it comes to this specific uh, unit. And you're gonna have your toilet right here. Um, each person's gonna have their own cabinet with their own lock, so one, two, and three. Pretty nice overhead uh, light, and that's pretty much it for the toilet area. Let's go ahead and check out the shower. So, basic shower, standing shower. Uh, again, you're gonna share it with two other people, so uh, your shower, curtain, um, it's pretty basic, nothing too much to see there. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and check out my boy Sean's space, so if you come on in, this is gonna be his space, and it's gonna be pretty universal throughout Eric Gary. So each uh, dorm within Eric Gary has three bedrooms, a shower, and a bathroom unit. So this is one of the bedrooms. I like how he has it all set up here. He has the Apple set up for sure. Single unit bed, and it's pretty legit, pretty standard. Um, definitely don't have enough room for two people, so that's for sure. You're gonna have your closet space here as well. Um, you're gonna have a little bit of storage space up top as well, so nothing too crazy. And be mindful that every single dorm comes with its own desk and its own chair as well, um, as well as their own bed. So every single unit's gonna have their own bed, chair, and desk. You do have to bring your own fitted sheets, your own sheets, your own blankets, your own pillowcases, your own pillows. That's not gonna be provided for you. You have to bring those. Um, awesome, let's go ahead and just go on out here. Now, since my boy Shane's not here, I'll just go ahead and show you the outside of his room. But it's basically the same. You're gonna go ahead and have your desk, your chair, your lights. He has the lights up there. Um, but pretty standard, it's pretty small, but each person's gonna have their own spot to themselves, which is actually pretty nice. Um, that's pretty much it for this, uh, for this edition of Eric Gary Dorm. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next one. What's going on you guys? So today I'm gonna to go ahead and show you guys my apartment and the place is called Premium Properties. It's about 15 minute walk to campus and about a five minute drive. Let's go on in, let's check it out. All right, so right when you walk in, to the left you have a nice little fridge, pretty standard. Got your microwave, got a toaster, uh, got your countertops, got your sink. Uh, for me, I'm a big coffee like fanatic, so I have like my own personal uh, coffee maker pretty much. Got the gooseneck pour over. Got plenty of storage space. So you have your cabinets underneath. Uh, one thing about Grenada is you literally pay for what you get. Um, so right now I'm paying roughly $1,100 a month. That includes gas and water. And we have to pay separately for the electricity. Um, this is gonna be a gas oven. As you can see, it's pretty well used, a little bit older. Uh, it does come with plates, comes with um, uh, spoons, forks, everything that you need to cook. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the, for the kitchen area. Let's go ahead and move on to the living area. It's a studio apartment, um, so there's not really walls separating the bedroom. So this is a true studio layout. Uh, right here, you can just go ahead and see the couch. It'll come with um, uh, a desk. And one thing about premium properties, um, you're gonna have like differences within units when it comes to uh, furniture. For example, my girlfriend has um, a bigger and wider couch. She has a nicer desk than I do. So like, it just depends on what unit you have. But most of the units available here will come with a desk, a tabletop, couch, uh, and a bed. So like, that's pretty much standard all across the board. So let's go ahead and check out the bed. Pretty nice, I believe it's a queen size bed. Um, if not, it's a full size bed. Um, 
I like it, it's pretty comfortable. One thing that you will find about this place is that um, there are lizards that like to crawl up on the ceiling, so don't be surprised if you're woken up in the middle of the night by uh, a lizard bark. So that's one of the things here. Uh, this is where I do most of my work. Um, I like to hang out in the mornings, do some reading, um, just kind of relax, uh, do my thing. Uh, really important to know that this does have US and um, Grenadian outlets. So feel free to come and bring uh, just your standard US outlets, but do keep in mind that it's also best to bring a converter. Got the AC unit, obviously. You need the, you need the AC unit to survive um, in Grenada. Uh, I got the second story uh, uh, unit, so we have like a pretty decent view out here, not too bad. Here we have a nice little uh, setup for the, uh, the dresser. Um, like I said, each unit is gonna have like a little bit something different, but yeah, that's something that I use um, just kind of like to hold my laptop um, and stuff like that. So pretty basic. Got storage for your clothes, shoes, all that stuff in here. Uh, more storage up top. Yeah, let's go check out the bathroom. All right, so we are in the bathroom right now. It's pretty small. There's not much space uh, when it comes to the sink area, which I totally wish there was. I totally missed my space. So you can see like everything's kind of like scattered around in the corners. There's a little bit of space in here and it does come with a little mirror. Comes with a shower, nothing too crazy. Pretty standard toilet, shower, and a sink to brush your teeth in. So that's it for the bathroom. All right guys, so that's pretty much it when it comes to my studio apartment here in Grenada. Um, like I said, what you pay for is what you get, and I'll see you at the next one. four student here at SGU and welcome to my home at Lazuli. Perfect. What's going on you guys? It's your boy JT and today I'm going to go ahead and show you my friend Kayla's apartment here at Lazuli. Come on in. So the first thing I want to start off with is the appliances. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the refrigerator. As you can see, refrigerator, it's not the traditional like withy, but it's more like a skinnier, slender type. Um, plenty of storage for all your frozen and your refrigerated items. Uh, we also have the microwave. So as you can see, this place is like pretty well renovated. Looks like it's barely a year old. And this place is actually pretty nice. It comes with everything that you really need for a um, medical student, including coffee makers, toaster, all that stuff. Usually all the places in Grenada, they, they usually have plates, uh, spoons, forks, all that stuff already coming with them. So this place is no exception. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick tour towards the bathroom area. So right as you walk in, to the right is the bathroom. And to your left, right when you walk in, is the uh, refrigerator and then some hanging space to keep your bags, um, grocery bags, uh, cleaning appliances, all that stuff. And pretty nice countertops. We have a sink here, all ready to go. From here, we're gonna go ahead and transition to the living area. So that's gonna be for a car right. 
And that's our friend Kayla, say what's up. We're gonna go ahead and go on to the bedroom area. I love to start off with a desk. Me personally, I like a bigger desk, but this is actually everything that you need. Comes with a desk, a chair, even comes with its own whiteboard, which is super awesome. If you ever just want to be chilling over here in your uh, bedroom, you're going to have your TV here. So again, like I said, two TVs. Looks like we have a dresser. Uh, looks like everything's all white. So the furniture's all white. Kind of have like a white gray scheme going on. And then we have the uh, bedroom. So pretty nice, comfortable looking bed. Looks like we have American outlets to the left and a nice little nightstand towards the right. Underneath this particular bed is actually more storage area. So you can actually lift this bed up and you can put more stuff underneath the bed, which is actually pretty sweet. To your right here, there's gonna be a closet space. So that's pretty dope. And obviously right behind you, we're gonna have the AC unit. So that comes in clutch, especially in a very hot humid island. Definitely want an AC unit. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go on to the balcony. Okay, how do you open the balcony? <laughs> You can actually see campus from right here. They're gonna be the uh, buildings with the orange tops. Pretty dope. Down there is Container Park. That is where a lot of people usually come to hang out, grab some drinks, grab some food with some friends. And you're pretty central to everything when it comes to Lazuli, which is actually super nice. Um, as you can see, that red car out in the distance is going actually to campus right now. So it's about a two minute, maybe five minute walk, depending on the morning to campus, which is actually super legit. Lots of bus routes come this way. Um, and you can kind of see uh, the driveway coming up through this place. And towards the left, you can see uh, the sea, which is actually a really nice view as well. And that's the balcony. We're gonna go ahead and come on back into the uh, apartment now. All right, you guys, my name is JT, and we just went ahead and showed you guys uh, the Zuli One Bedroom Studio. Uh, it's super awesome. Um, I actually want to live here this upcoming January, so fingers crossed for that. Uh, again, this is uh, Kayla's spot, and we're going to go ahead and peace out. We'll see you in the next one. guys so you've seen a summary of what housing looks like within Grenada you've seen on-campus housing the dorms and how that looks like you've seen off-campus housing and how that looks like keep in mind that maid service is included in most properties around St. George um, so just kind of keep that in mind um, that comes included with your your rent and you're gonna notice a trend the farther away from campus you are the lower the prices are gonna be as of August 2022 um, the prices are pretty high right now. So keep in mind that prices vary 
from term to term. Also keep in mind, if you wanna save some money and live further off campus, you are going to have to sacrifice walking a large distance to get to the nearest bus stop, and you might have to rent a car in order to get to local places to get you know, your groceries, all that stuff. If you're from a larger city like New York, San Francisco, Miami, then $2,200 a month for a one bedroom apartment may not be so bad. But if you're like me and you're from like Oregon, Oklahoma, um, Idaho, um, I couldn't believe the amount of money that was going towards housing for my tuition. It was pretty intense. And I couldn't believe like, what $2,200 for a one bedroom? Like this better be really nice, you know? So it just depends on where you're from. You know, it really depends on where you're from, what you're comfortable with, but it's really important to budget as well. You don't want to get into further debt just to have a nicer place to stay. All right, you guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I've been seeing a lot of you guys come up to me and say, hey, your videos have really helped me out and I really, really appreciate that. I think that that's super awesome. If you have any suggestions of what my next video should be, go ahead and comment down below and I'll go ahead and take a look at those comments. All right, guys, until next time, peace out.